day two of the EV Rally and we're in Sheffield. And, uh, well, it's just brilliant because we don't just do cars. We do vans, we do trucks, and <laughs> we do diggers. You dig? What's the challenge? Because we're going to try and take it up a hill. Yeah, but not any hill. This is one of the steepest slopes in England, uh, Blake Street. And, uh, yeah, so as if towing two and a half tonnes wasn't enough of an achievement, we thought we'd make it a little bit harder for ourselves today. They flew up that hill. Yeah. Quite remarkable. Neil, as CEO and co-founder of Power, what is it that you do? What we're trying to do is put all of the UK's charge points into one place. So you have one simple app to find, and a card or the app to charge, and then all the payments aggregated centrally, so you've got one data set with all the data you need to operate your business electric vehicles. Half past 11 in the morning, and we've hit Washington in the northeast. And look at this baby, this is FastNed. So we have hyper fast charging for all these vehicles with no drop off in performance, load balance, absolutely superb. Now the range is good, um, we've, we've been grazing. As I've said many times recently, I don't stop to charge, I charge because I've stopped and I've been doing that ever since we left Cardiff so far. We're at DPD to find out what they've been doing to clean up logistics and to go green by 2040. Back in 2020, 149 electric vehicles. Today, on fleet, we have 3,035. Well, John, look. Net zero by 2040, so, so there's a there commitment. You know, that's what it's about. So, Team Churchill, tell me, why is the EV rally important to you? So, two reasons. One, our colleagues, uh, helping educate our colleagues who then go on to help our customers. Uh, and helping our customers understand that some of the things that worry them today about moving into electrification probably aren't true. What makes this year's rally particularly special compared to the other years? What's different? So this year, rather than going for a really complex vehicle, I've gone for one of our normal vans, one that we've got fully racked out so that our engineers understand exactly what it is that they've got and I can learn and understand what I'm expecting them to deal with. So we are the UK's first and currently only intercity electric coach service. Um, so we run a service between Edinburgh and Dundee and Glasgow and Dundee using zero emission all electric coaches. As always, you get driver resistance, don't you? Thinking, you know, how am I going to charge? What am I going to do? So we're doing a, a 1200 mile journey across Britain. Is, is perfect for us to show the case that it can be done. Well, we have reached our final checkpoint for today on the EV Rally. We're here at Waterford Park and Ride, and I found Tom, Tom from Senex. Tom, you've got some secret data for us. Indeed, we have loggers installed in this vehicle. We're measuring uh, its energy consumption, where it's been, and all loads of stats. I've been impressed with the performance of the vehicle. It charges really well. We got here a lot sooner than we thought we'd get here today. So yeah, it's been really good fun. So that's day two, pretty much done. And we've seen electric vans that can tow diggers up hills, big buses that uh, all run on electric, trucks, vans, cars, we've had the lot. What a brilliant EV rally this is. Can't wait for tomorrow.